A gorgeous March evening in Indianapolis, the home of swimming in the United States, is the host city for this year's Division II National Championship Tournament. A five-day meet. We are at the halfway point this evening. Day three inside IU Natatorium on NCAA.com. Hi, everybody. Brendan Gulick with you. We've got a great night planned for you. I think it's going to be a lot of fun anyways. Uh, we certainly got some some tight races if you look at the way things went this morning in prelims the 100 fly the 400 im and the 200 freestyle will be the individual events in the pool and then we'll go over to the diving boards for the men's three meter diving competition and wrap up the night with the 400 yard medley relays yesterday we saw a couple of all-time division two national championship meet records broken Emily Treishman broke the 1,000-yard freestyle record for Nova Southeastern, and boy, have those Sharks showed up here at the national meet or what. Nova Southeastern on the ladies' side is in really good shape after two days. And then U Indy with an all-time record-breaking 50-yard uh, freestyle performance from Joanna Buys. She swam in 22.10, the fastest 50 of all time. So congratulations to Joanna Buys. This is the women's 100-yard butterfly uh, consolation final. The uh, young ladies in this event include Selena Marquez in lane eight. And we'll get you the uh, names of all of the ladies competing here in just a moment, but Selena Marquez in particular notable because she was a fourth place finisher a year ago and she just barely qualified for the consolation final today. She was the last person in to the consolation final, so we'll see if she can pull off something magical here in the 100 fly. Kiara Borchart from Colorado Mesa's in lane one. Alexandra Maslova from Nova Southeastern in lane two. She's won this consolation final each of the last two years. Melly Wyke, sophomore from Drury, swimming in lane three. Emily Mears Bentley, the freshman from Findlay in Western Ohio. She's in lane four, swimming next to Southern Connecticut sophomore Justice Glasgow. Mika Heidier, a freshman from Indianapolis in lane six. Her teammate, sophomore Julia Majorowska, is in lane seven. And then Selena Marquez is in lane number eight. Last year, the 100-yard butterfly all-time D2 record, which was swam at the national championship meet, was broken by Ann Carraza, who is in the championship final. She broke the record in prelims, and then as rare as this sounds, she did not win the national championship. Luna Mertens from Lynn out-touched Carraza, and so we'll see if perhaps Ann, who is swimming in lane four in the championship final coming up here shortly, see if maybe she can come up with some retribution. The top two from last year will be in this championship final after Mears Bentley there takes the consolation final. Look at the results, including Justice Glasgow in second place. So good swims there from Emily and from Justice. Always nice when you're in the pool, no matter what it's, uh, no matter what's at stake, you just try to go out and win your race. And that's exactly what Finley freshman Emily Mears Bentley just did there. I think the other interesting note here in this championship final, the second seed in prelims, Manon Kampagner from Carson Newman has been in the consolation final the last two years. She swam this morning in prelims 1.6 seconds faster than she swam last year. So she shaved off a ton of time, but can she beat Ann Carroza, the all-time D2 record holder? And can she knock off Luna Mertens? Let's go to our public address announcer for our introductions. Valley, Alyssa Wager. In lane two, your new South Intercollegiate Conference champion from West Florida, Stephanie Markward. In lane three, your defending national champion, Luna Mertens. Lane four, your current NCAA Division II and meet record holder, your runner-up a year ago 
from Westchester, Ann Carosa. Lane five, a fifth place finisher in the 50 freestyle already from Carson Newman, Manon Kumpanger. In lane six, a sixth place finisher in the 200 individual medley from Indiana University, Pennsylvania, Paige Mikesell. In lane seven, she's an eighth place finisher a year ago from St. Leo, Isabella Searing. And in lane eight, the runner up in the New South Intercollegiate Conference from Delta State, Michaela Cloth. Meta referee. So last year, Mertens outtouched Carroza by eight one hundredths of a second to steal that national championship from the all time record holder. The only two swims this year under 53 seconds are in lanes four and five. Carosa 52-52, the top national qualifier. Compagner swimming next to her swam this in 52-92 at the South Atlantic Conference Championships a couple weeks ago. So far, so good in lane five. Compagner known for going out fast, but you can't count out Carosa for her underwater work. Compagner swimming well. She is the leader at the halfway mark. Then it's Mertens followed by Carosa. So lanes three, four, and five right now, separating themselves a bit. Here comes Carosa in lane four. Compagner trying to hold her off. Merton's third at the break wall. Everybody else is racing for fourth place at the moment. Stephanie Marquardt, last year she was an alternate. She's had a great year to get back in this thing, trying to get into fourth place. Compagner and Carosa first to the wall again. Men and Compagner from Carson Newman, the national champion. Fifty-two forty-five is Carosa and Mertens come up just a little bit short. You can see the splits. Ann and Luna both shaved off. I should say Ann shaved off a little bit of time. Luna fell back a bit in that last leg. But the Carson Newman Eagles have a national champion. We move our attention now to our second event of the night, which is the men's 100-yard butterfly. And for our consolation finalists, back to the public address announcer. Lane six from Indy, Jaron Thompson. Lane seven from Fresno Pacific, Jan Bailiki. And lane eight from Jury, Oscar Sawicki, Madam Referee. This event, Nathan Baghetti in lane five has won and been runner-up in the consolation final these last two years. Our national champion last year from Drury was Dominic Karacic. Tim Stolings was the runner-up last year after winning this event two years ago. The top four, those two guys along with Greg Lashinsky and uh, another young man from Finley, Carlos Marugo Montano, they will all be in the championship final here. Halfway home, so far so good. Great work from Jaron Thompson there in lane six. Everybody is chasing down Serhi Aghanyan. University of Indianapolis in lane four and in lane six. And it looks like those two guys are gonna go one, two. UIndy scoring valuable team points here, taking each of the top two spots in the consolation final. Serhi wins the event. Fifth year senior from Indianapolis. Oh, 
pretty good contingent of Greyhound fans, as you might imagine, here this evening. Cheering on the Hounds, who had a heck of a day yesterday, didn't they? University of Indianapolis really impressed. 17 All-American performances, four school records, a couple of national championships for the Greyhounds yesterday. I mentioned Joanna Byes a minute ago. Cedric Boosing also won the 1,000 freestyle yesterday, breaking his own school record by quite a bit in the process. UND's men lead the field so far through these first couple of days. And the UND women currently second behind Nova Southeastern. This is probably the most experienced final we have. Six of the eight All-Americans from last year are back in the final this year. But Jace Pinckney and Jackson Lustig are the two you might really want to appreciate in lanes one and two because of how far back they were last year, and they've qualified for the championship final now. Here are your introductions. Pinckney! In lane two, a seventh place finisher already in the 200 individual medley. From McKendry, Jackson Lustig! In lane three, your 2022 national runner-up. From Finley, Timothy Stallings! In lane four, a sixth place finisher already in the 50 freestyle. From McKendry, Greg Lashinsky! In lane five, a fourth place finisher a year ago from Finley, Camilo Morago Monteo. In lane six, your defending national champion from Drury, Dominic Karasik. In lane seven, a seventh place finisher a year ago from Nova Southeastern. Stephen Amable. And in lane eight, an eighth place finisher a year ago from Indy, KL York. Madam referee. Last year in prelims, Jace Pickney in lane one finished 20th and missed both finals. Jackson Lustig was 18th, it was the second alternate. Both of them have shaved off a ton of time in this event. This is a loaded field. Greg Lashinsky, the national favorite. He had a great day yesterday. He was on a relay team uh, for McKendry earlier this week that won a national title in the 800 free relay, and he broke the school record because he swam the first leg in the 200 free. So he's having a great week already. Good race so far. Lanes three, four, and five are looking solid. Stallings, Lashinsky, and Marugo Montano. Those are the first three to the wall. In fact, Stallings and Lashinsky dead even at the wall. They touch down to the 100th. We did have a tie two years ago in a national championship race. See if there's any similar feeling tonight. Lashinsky giving it his all. Starting to pull away. Stallings is right there. Here comes Aimable in lane seven. Aimable in second. It's Lashinsky. The national championship. Bronze to Lustig, Stallings in fourth. The fastest closing stretch though in lane seven, Stephen Amable with a great swim, and he's in second place. The national runner up to Nova Southeastern. Greg Lashinsky wins another national championship. Outstanding. All right, event number 14 this week is the women's 400-yard IM. Let's meet our consolation finalists. Three from Oklahoma Christian, Cheyenne Dennison. Lane four from Wingate, Francesca Muehlberger. Lane five from Indy, Carolina Dobchakova. 
Lane six from Drury, Maria Fay Munoz. Lane seven from Wingate, Lillian Sanaki. And lane eight from McKindry, Sarah Gormley, Madam Referee. By the way, one final note on Lashinsky, who came in with the fastest swim in the country in the 100 fly at 46 flat. So he breaks that mark with a 45-82 here tonight. Susanna Ungo, Kylie Beaudet, Cheyenne Dennison, Franziska Mulberger, Carolina Dubka-Kova, uh, Maria Femunoz, Lillian Sanaki, and Sarah Gormley here in this first heat of the women's 400 IM. It's Gormley for McKendry in lane eight that leads the way at the one quarter mark. Dennison also swam nicely there, 27.56, that first split for her. National championship meet record belongs to Patri Castro Ortega, young lady that swam for Queens and has her name on a couple of national championship records. She swam this in 2016 in four minutes 8.56 seconds. That is flying. To give you an idea, the top seed this year is nine seconds slower than what we saw from Ortega back in 2016. Down and back twice with each stroke in the 400 IM here in this pool that's 25 yards long. For what it's worth, the defending national champion in this event is not in the field. Marazel van Jarsveld from the University of Indianapolis has since graduated. National championship winning time last year was 4.14.06. The fastest time in the country in this event this year is 4.12.74 for May Lowy, who is the top seed coming up in the championship final here in a bit. Nicely done there from Dennison. She's having a good swim. Young lady from OCU. Second place at the moment is Fe Munoz from Drury. And third place to Muhlberger. Just past the halfway mark. Dennison up in lane three. Consolation final for the women's 400-yard IM. We'll have the men's event next. Then the 200 freestyle for the ladies and the guys. Men's three-meter diving. And then the 400-yard medley relay races coming up in our program later this evening. As it turns out, there is only one more defending champion in the field the rest of the way. Well, the Southeastern having a good week on the ladies' side so far. They think they could have a lot more team points to come here with Lowy and Savannah Best swimming in the championship final. The breaststroke has even things out a little bit. Dennison swimming fine in lane three, but no longer leads the way. She's in third. Gormley has taken over first place. And Fe Munoz in lane six, in second. How will things sort themselves out now in the freestyle? There are hardly any programs in America with a more proud tradition in swimming and diving than the Drury Panthers. And it's always fun to see underclassmen performing well at the national championships the way Maria is swimming here in lane six. She's in second place behind Carolina Dupkakova from Indianapolis in five. For Munoz in six, swimming basically stroke for stroke with her, and it's turned into what feels like a four-person race in the four middle lanes in the pool. Dennison, Muhlberger, Dupkakova, and Fe Munoz. Consolation final on the line. It's Catalina Dupkakova from the University of Indianapolis. Barely the first to touch, one one hundredth faster than Franziska Muhlberger.
1-2 in lanes 5-4. Then Faye Munoz in third, followed by Dennison in lane three. <laughs> uh, Carolina happy and celebrating that, as she should be, looking back over at her teammates. Actually down in front of us here. So Carolina gets out of the pool. And we're ready to crown another national champion. Two representatives from Colorado Mesa, a couple of Sharks, two Greyhounds, one Drury Panther, and one freshman from Grand Valley State, the Lakers, represented here by Katie O'Connell. As our consolation finalists head off the deck, we turn things over to meet our championship finalists here this evening. 400-yard individual medley. In lane one, a fifth place finisher a year ago from Indy, Andrea Gomez Espinoza. In lane two, your Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference runner up from Colorado Mesa, Sophia Baines. Lane three, your national runner up in the 200 individual medley from Drury, Aurora. Duncan! A seventh place finisher in the 200 individual medley and a member of the national champion 800 freestyle relay from Nova Southeastern, my Lovey! A third place finisher in the 200 individual medley from Nova Southeastern, Savannah Best! In lane six, a fifth place finisher in the 200 individual medley from Indy, Caitlin McCoy. In lane seven, your Great Lakes Intercollegiate Conference champion from Grand Valley, Katie O'Connell. And in lane eight, an eighth place finisher a year ago from Colorado Mesa, Lily Borgenheimer, Madam Referee. Heavy favorites are in lanes four and five here, Lowy and Best. But for several reasons, there are reasons to watch other lanes. The prelims matter so much, and Aurora Duncan from Drury her best time this year up in lane three was 4.24.22. She went out in prelims this morning and beat that by four full seconds. And not only punched her ticket to a championship final, but put herself right in the thick of contention in the middle of the pool. She should certainly be proud of putting together a swim like that. Most of the rest of the young ladies that are in the pool here, based on what they've done so far this year at their best, you would expect to see them. But Duncan had an awesome prelim earlier this morning. Butterfly is not necessarily Katie O'Connell's favorite stroke down in lane seven. We'll see if the freshman from the Lakers can climb her way back in this shortly. May Lowy looking rock solid. And the reality is... She has swam this event three seconds faster than anybody else in America this year in Division II swimming. So if May Lowy doesn't win the national championship in this event, somebody else has put together the performance of a lifetime tonight. And we've seen some great performances so far from Nova Southeastern here this weekend, including from Lowy and Best. Best was on the national championship 200 medley relay team. Savannah swimming well. Aurora Duncan, by the way, in second place at the moment. McCoy is in third, best in fourth. Then it's Gomez Espinosa, Baines, O'Connell, and Borgenheimer.
Judges watching closely, making sure that each lane is stroking properly. Look at Aurora Duncan. There are three seniors and five underclassmen in the pool here. Katie McCoy, of course, last year finished 10th in this event, but she was a national runner-up two years ago, so you expect that she is certainly capable of making a push late. Lowy, last year's third-place finisher. Again, the all-time Division II record is 4 minutes, 8.56 seconds from Patri Castro Ortega back in 2016. It's still Lowy leading the way. 35-87, the last split there. Duncan performing nicely in lane three. Look at Savannah Best kicking her way back in this. Best is a very good breaststroker. Closing in on a chance to get into the freestyle. Last year's national champion, Marizel Van Yarsveld, has graduated from UIndy. So we're going to have a new champion here in 2023. And as we hit the three-quarter mark, May Lowy is in the lead. In fact, she's got a, a almost two full second lead over Aurora Duncan and Savannah Best. Lily Borgenheimer has come surging back in down in lane eight. See if Borgenheimer can make up some more ground. She is in fourth place, but a distant fourth at the moment. Top three have really separated themselves. Lowy, Duncan, and Best. May Lowy's lead has shrunk a little bit. Six-tenths of a second have come off as Duncan performs well in three. Can she put enough together to race down May Lowy? May losing a little bit of steam. Duncan trying to turn it on, but she's going to run out of time. The 2023 national champion in the women's 400 IM is May Lowy from Nova Southeastern. Duncan finishes as the runner-up. Savannah Best, a third-place finish. What a commendable performance at this weekend's national championship for Aurora Duncan. Gosh, cannot say enough about what she's put together this week. But this moment belongs to May Lowy. Nova Southeastern continues a weekend that, frankly, they certainly hope for, you plan for, but you still need to actually see it come to life. <laughs> that is their fifth gold medal of the eight we've given out in total. That's, that's kind of outrageous. <laughs> Really impressive. Nova Southeastern with national championships in both the 800 free relay and the 200 medley relay, as well as the women's 1,000 free with Emily Treishman. Emily Ronningdahl won the 200 IM, and now May Lowy wins the 400 IM. All three of those individual champions have also been on relay teams. This is the consolation final now for the men's 400 IM. Lane one is a Missouri s and freshman, Connor Bischel. In lane two, a junior from Finley, Juan Daniel Garcia Ruiz. Fifth year senior for Lewis, the Flyers in lane three with Mariano Sosa. Miguel Marcos swimming in lane four, a sophomore for Wingate, finished in 15th place in this race a year ago. In lane five, it's another Lewis swimmer, a freshman, Kirill Sidorko. Lane six, Micah McCray, senior for L uh, Lenore Rhine. Fifth year senior from Colorado Mesa, Kyle Benjamin is in lane seven. And from Northern Michigan University in lane eight, fifth place a year ago, senior Ericas Kapochis. Sure, 
he's a bit disappointed in the fact that he was unable to put together a good enough swim to get back in that championship final earlier this morning. Sidorko leads the way in five, and then it's Bischel up in lane one as we hit the backstroke. Our defending national champion not in the field. He is also the all-time Division II record holder in this event. Broken last year, Colin Gagne from Simon Fraser University. Swam in in 342-49. Top mark this year in the country belongs to Ben Sampson in the men's 400 IM. And he is in the championship final. We'll see if Ben can make it happen tonight. I think the championship final could be one of our best races all week. There's very little separation in what we've seen from the four best swimmers in the country in this event. And they are all represented in this evening's national championship. First place now at this point, Mariano Sosa from Lewis in lane three. Garcia Ruiz hanging tough with him up in lane two. In fact, Garcia Ruiz with some great underwater work there is caught up a bit. And he's trying to really turn the Jets on here toward the end of the breaststroke. Juan Daniel Garcia Ruiz clearly likes this stroke and in lane two he has now overtaken the lead from Sosa. Lane four Miguel Marcos way back at the moment. Wonder if perhaps he exerted too much earlier today I have a hard time thinking that his freestyle is going to make up quite that much ground. But you never know. Bischel also swimming well. Freshman up in lane one. And here we go into the freestyle. Garcia Ruiz in lane two looking strong. Bischel and Sosa right behind him. In fact, they were tight for second at the last touch. Marcos making a push in the middle of the pool. He was clearly in last place and now has moved himself up more, uh, more into the pack of the other five swimmers. Garcia Ruiz, then Sosa, then Bischel. Lanes two, three, and one in that order. Marcos has gone from well in eighth place now to almost fifth. Down the final stretch, Juan Daniel Garcia Ruiz, a junior for the University of Finley. Out of the Great Lakes Intercollegiate Athletic Conference, they've got a consolation final victory. Lane two, 350-89. Sosa finishes in third. I'm sorry, in second place. Third place goes to Micah McCray. Kyle Benjamin in fourth. Look at the final times there, 350-89. Good swim there for Garcia Ruiz. Okay, we are ready for our championship final. Those young men are ready to parade in, so let's head downstairs and meet this year's championship finalists. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome your championship finalist in the men's 400-yard individual medley. In lane one, a third-place finisher in the 200 individual medley from Tampa, Santiago Corridor. In lane two, your national champion in the 200 individual medley from Colorado Mesa, Benjamin Sampson. Lane three, a third place finisher in the 1,000 yard freestyle 
from Tampa, Hayden Curley. In lane four, a third place finisher a year ago from Nova Southeastern, Jared Baxter. Your national champion in the 1000 freestyle in lane five from Indy, Cedric Boosing. In lane six, making his first finals appearance from Drury, Wow, Noyega. In lane seven, a fourth place finisher in the 200 individual medley from Drury, Andrew Rodriguez. In lane eight, he was a sixth place finisher a year ago from Grand Valley, Keegan Hawkins. Matter referee. Four hundred IM championship final. You heard in the introduction, it includes yesterday's two hundred IM national champion Ben Sampson. Mavericks are still celebrating Sampson's national championship. He made history as the first Maverick men's swimmer to ever win a national championship when he did it last night. The pride of Arvada, Colorado, with an incredible performance yesterday. He's been really good throughout his career. Eight-time All-American. He was a national runner-up in the 200 back last year. And he's taking hardware home with him this year in lane two. Hayden Curley, fifth-year senior from Tampa, transferred from the University of Louisville, a really solid swimmer in lane three. He just missed beating Sampson in that 200 IM. If you're going to swim the IM, you better be really good in the butterfly. So no surprise to see all of these guys performing well. This is a close race. Keegan Hawkins in lane eight from Grand Valley State leads the way. At the one-quarter mark, Andrew Rodriguez from Drury in lane seven is in second place at the moment. But you can see all eight lanes across the pool are fairly tight with one another. Top qualifying time in the country this season in this event belongs to Sampson, 3.45.23. He swam early in, uh, this morning, had plenty of time to make sure he could just get in the final, but he's in lane two. Santiago Corrador. Sunshine State Conference champ. Second fastest qualifying time nationally. And Santi is swimming up in lane one for Tampa. So don't be surprised here. Get a little outside smoke. The 400 IM. Middle of the pool, certainly capable. Jared Baxter from Nova Southeastern. Cedric Boosing. Those are two very good swimmers. But their best times this season have been substantially slower. A full second slower and what we've seen from Sampson and from Corridor. Joao Noguera from Drury in lane six. Right now bringing up the rear, but hanging tough. His teammate Andrew Rodriguez in lane seven. A little bit of a fight too. Here come Baxter and Boosing in the middle of the pool. They're making up some serious ground during the breaststroke. Lanes one, two, four, and five are dead even. Sampson, Corridor, Baxter, and Boosing. 75% of the way through the breaststroke, and those four guys have to be separated by just a couple tenths. All of them right there. Baxter, third place a year ago. Boosing was the national runner-up last season. The defending national champion again is the all-time record holder, Colin Gagne. The record is 342-49. We're unlikely to see that fall, but you never know. Look at Cedric Boosing. Boosing leads the way right now with that long, confident stroke. Boosing yesterday's 1,000 freestyle champion. Here comes Corridor up in lane one. He out-touches Boosing with a 25-06. What a split. 
Sampson's in third. Baxter's in fourth. This is an incredible race. Boosing in Corridor, lanes five and one. Sampson making a surge. He's running out of time in two. This is going to be a photo finish. It goes to lane one, Santi Corridor. Tampa wins the national title. Boosting in second, Ben Sampson finishes with bronze. Sampson did everything he could to swim down Santi. But not quite enough juice. Really impressive race. 345-30. By seven one hundredths, it misses being the fastest swim in the country this year. But that is of little consequence tonight to Santiago Corrador Zabala, the Sunshine State Conference champ, and now the national champion. Very cool. All right, let's go down to our podium presentation for the first time tonight. We will recognize our national champions in the 100-yard butterfly. On the ladies' side, Manon Compagner from Carson Newman and Greg Lashinsky from McKendry. In 16th place, Kiara Borocart. In 15th place from Nova Southeastern, Selena Marquez. In 14th place from Indy, Micah Heider. We have a tie for 12th place from Nova Southeastern, Alexandra Maslova. And from Drury, Malai Vic. In 11th place from Indy, Julia Magrawaska. In 10th place from Southern Connecticut, Justice Glasgow. And in 9th place from Finley, Emily Mears Bentley. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome our top eight finishers in the women's 100-yard butterfly. In eighth place, Michaela Cloth. From Delta State, 55-84. In seventh place with a time of 54-67. From St. Leo, Isabella Searing. In sixth place with a time of 54-31. From Grand Valley, Alyssa Wager. In fifth place with a time of 54-03. From Indiana University, Pennsylvania, Paige Mikesell. In fourth place with a time of 53.89 from West Florida, Stephanie Markwart. In third place with a time of 53.54 from Lynn, Luna Mertens. And your 2023 national runner-up with a time of 52.62 from Westchester, Ann Carosa. And your national champion in the women's 100-yard butterfly with a championship time of 52.45 from Carson Newman, Manon Kumpinger. We need the top eight finishers in the men's 100-yard butterfly to the awards-ready area now. Ladies and gentlemen, let's send it on down to the deck and meet our national champion in the women's 100-yard butterfly with Dan Johnson.
Manon, what a great 100 fly. You took that thing out first at the 50, first at the 100. Tell us what your strategy was going out today. Um, I know this morning was a little bit off on the first 50, so I tried to go a little bit faster this morning because my back half isn't the greatest, so I kind of just like went for it. Well, I think it's a little bit better than last year, right? 13th last year and now to first. I mean, what a great improvement. What do you think that contributed to? Um, this year has been a lot different since our coaching staff changed, and I think like with uh, Ben as our new head coach, he's like helped a lot this year. Well, great. Hey, your walls were incredible. Your race was beautiful. Congratulations. What else do you have this week? Uh, I have the two free tonight and then the relay at night and the 100 free. Well, we'll leave you alone. Get warmed down a little bit further. Congratulations. Beautiful race. Your top 16 finishers in event 13, the men's 100-yard butterfly. In 16th place from Drury, Oscar Sawicki. In 15th place from Fresno Pacific, Jan Bailicki. In 14th place from Clarion, Connor Carey. In 13th place from Drury, Nathan Baghetti. In 12th place from Henderson State, Jack Armstrong. In 11th place from Wayne State, Michael Wolzek. In 10th place from Indy, Teron Thompson. And in 9th place from Indy, Serge Agashawan. Ladies and gentlemen, let's meet our top eight finishers in the men's 100-yard butterfly. In eighth place from Indy with the time of 47.30, Kale York. In seventh place with a time of 46.95 from Henderson State, Chase Pickney. In sixth place with a time of 46.70 from Drury, Dominic Karasik. In fifth place with a time of 46.27 from Finley, Camilio Morago Montano. In fourth place with a time of 46.22 from Finley, Timothy Stallings. In third place with a time of 46.17 from McKindry, Jackson Lustig. Your 2023 national runner up with a time of 46.11 from Nova Southeastern. Stephen Amable. And your 2023 national champion in the men's 100 yard butterfly with a championship time of 4582 from McKindry, Greg Lashinsky. We need all championship finalists in the women's 200-yard freestyle to the race-ready area. All right, let's send it on down to the deck and let's meet our 2023 national champion in the men's 100-yard butterfly with Dan Johnson. Hey, Greg, great race. Tied at the 50, came back in that last 50, and you hit every wall right in stride. What were, what were you thinking about going out tonight? Uh, I knew I had a rough little first 50 this morning, and I, I knew what I had to fix and just stuck to my race plan. You also had the fastest reaction time of the whole heat, so nice job getting off that blocks. 800 free relay champion, 100 fly. What's next? Four medley, baby. All right, take it out. Let's see you have a great race. Congratulations.
No, once again, we need all top eight finalists. In the all right. So we have just uh, recognized our national champions in the 100 fly. We'll have our podium presentation for the 400 IM coming up here in, oh, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes or so. But before we do that, we're going to contest the 200-yard freestyle consolation and championship finals for both the ladies and for the men. And our first event here in that mix will be on the ladies' side as we go back downstairs for our introductions. Event 16, women's 200-yard freestyle consolation finals. In lane one from Lynn, Laura DeConnick. Lane two from Westchester, Michaela Nines. Lane three from Colorado Mesa, Katarina Matsuskova. Lane four from Lynn, Helga Fodder. Lane five from Wingate, Caitlin Agger. Lane six from Azusa Pacific, Montana White. Lane seven from Colorado Mesa, Lauren White. And lane eight from McKendry, Jocelyn Zagoa, Madam Referee. We've got uh, some young ladies that have been All-American in their career. We've also got an impressive performance from Katarina Matuskova, young lady in lane three from Colorado Mesa, who last year was the first alternate, and this year more comfortably got into the field, shaved off a good bit of time. Last year, both Caitlin Agger in lane five and Montana White from Azusa Pacific. They were both All-Americans, but both of them missing out on the uh, championship final this year. Lauren White in lane seven, last year 14th place, but two years ago, she was a fifth place finisher in this event. It's also the second consolation final for Westchester's junior, Michaela Nines. Down and back four times in the 200-yard freestyle. All-time D2 record is 1 minute 44.44. Belongs to the same young lady that had the 400 IM record from Queens, Patri Castro Ortega. Her championship meet record was set the year prior, 145.27. Fastest time in the country for the ladies in the 200 freestyle this year. It is from Amelia Runningdahl and Seconded only by her teammate, Emily Treishman, both from Nova Southeastern. They will be in the pool here in just a few minutes. Helga Fedor from Lynn in lane four, leading the way at the moment. The performance in lane three from Matuskova. Check out Laura DeConnick in lane one, really pouring it on here late. Good swim from Montana White in lane six, two. Fedor and Matuskova are the first two to the wall, and it's Katarina who touches first. By .24, Colorado Mesa Jr., Katarina Matuskova wins the consolation final. Awfully cool for her after last year, again, missing out on the chance to swim in the evening. She was the first one not to get in. So she turns that into a consolation final win for the Mavericks. Well done. Closing burst there from DeConnick. Finishes off in third place. Okay, we've already had Manon Kampagner win a national championship tonight. She had a great performance in this event earlier this morning. Maybe she can ride some of that adrenaline after coming off the top of the podium just a couple minutes ago and grabs her swim cap. Says, all right, time to get back in the pool and try to win another one. She'll be in there, but going to have to overcome couple of really tough sharks. And add in there, Kiara Puzvai, who had the best swim of her career by a lot in this event earlier this morning. Back downstairs for introductions. Amindi Micah Heider. In lane two, your Great Lakes Valley Conference runner-up from Drury, Josephine Bouchel. In lane three, 
a fifth place finisher in the 50 freestyle, and already a national champion in the 100 butterfly this evening, from Carson Newman, Manon Kumpinger. In lane four, a member of the national champion 800 freestyle relay, and a national champion in the 1000 freestyle, from Nova Southeastern, Emily Trishman. In lane five, a fourth place finisher in the 50 freestyle from Henderson State, Kiara Posby. In lane six, a member of the national champion 800 freestyle relay and a national champion in the 200 individual medley from Nova Southeastern, Amelia Running Doll. In lane seven, a third place finisher from the Great Lakes Valley Conference from Drury, Ellie Walker. In lane eight, a sixth place finisher in the 200 individual medley and a fifth place finisher in the 100 butterfly from Indiana University, Pennsylvania, Paige Mikesell. Matter referee. Paige Mikesell introduced there at the end, but they are missing one glaring uh, part of her resume. She won this event two years ago. Uh, Paige doesn't swim this race an awful lot, but she's a gamer, man. She knows how to get in the pool and just flat out win. Don't fall asleep on Mike Soul down in eight, but it's Ronning Dahl in six, Treichman in four, who are the, uh, the two favorites from Nova Southeastern. Helga Fedor, who had a tough swim earlier this morning, swam in the consolation final, but pri uh, prior to that had the third fastest time in the country. Down and back the first time through. It's actually in lane one from Indianapolis, Mika Heideyer is in first place. Kampagner in second behind Pozvay and Ronningdahl. Continued good work from Mika up in lane one. She is the Great Lakes Valley Conference champion in this event. Swam 148-42 a few weeks ago for the Greyhounds. And it's turning right now into her and Ronningdahl pacing the way. New Indy having a swim that feels like a home game for them. Nova Southeastern, with as much as they've won this week, they might as well be at home. The Sharks have been unbelievable and right now have a sizable team lead in this national championship chase. Rotting Dahl in lane six. She's already won this week as the opening leg of the 800 freestyle relay. She won the 200 IM at national championship. She was not on Nova's second relay win, the 200 medley relay yesterday. Ronning Dahl looking for another title. She's got some serious competition. Mika Heidier up in lane one, chasing her down. Does she have enough? No! Amelia Ronning Dahl for the second time this week, a national champion. Heidier takes silver, bronze to Emily Treishman. One forty-seven eleven, just off her best time of the season. Heidier swam her best race of her career and was so close to winning a national title but a silver medal, certainly a worthy, uh, worthy award. All right, back down to the pool now to meet our consolation finalists on the men's side. Lane six from St. Cloud State, Rolf Hendricks. Lane seven from Indy, Serge Agoshawan. Lane eight from Missouri s and Connor Wiedermeyer, Madam Referee.
Parker Nolman, Brandon Heredia, Gabriel Costa, Barnabas Fluck, Matthias Lapierre, Raf Hendricks, Serhi Aganzian, and Connor Wiedemeyer. Lapierre in lane five. Last year was the second alternate in this event. And he, earlier this year, shaved off a boatload of time and swam 135.93. But unfortunately, had a tough prelim and was unable to get in the championship final. Of the guys that are in this, uh, this part of the pool, this part of the race, LaPierre and Heredia had two of the five fastest marks in the country this year. I should say two of the eight fastest in the nation this year. Heredia up in lane two won the B final when we were down in Greensboro a year ago. Good race so far. Matias from Colorado Mesa in first place. Then it's Raf Hendricks right behind him. Continued good strokes. Matias Lapierre, not by much, but leading the way. Seri Agadzanyan. Lane seven continues to swim well, and he does get there first. How about that? New Indy with a great performance in lane seven for the second time tonight. Seri wins a consolation final. He also touched first. In the men's 100-yard butterfly. So Agadzanyan in front of LaPierre and Heredia. All right, to our championship final now. By the way, when this race concludes, we'll have the awards presentation for the 400 IM and the 200 freestyle. And you'll also meet our men's three-meter diving finalists. We've been warming up here for a bit. And they are preparing for their competition tonight. Some guys in this field coming up here who really had good seasons after disappointing finishes last year. Three young men in the pool didn't even make the consolation final a year ago. Two of them swam in the consolation final. And the top returning swimmer, our only returning All-American, Aliresa Yevari from McKendry, will be in lane five. Here are your finalists. Prince runner-up from Grand Valley, Roger Marisola. Lane two, your Sunshine State Conference champion from Nova Southeastern, Thomas Flower. Lane three, your national runner-up in the 1,000 freestyle from Oklahoma Christian, Victor Rosado. Lane four, your South Atlantic Conference champion from Wingate, Marcel Snitko. In lane five, a sixth place finisher a year ago from McKendry. Ali Reza Yavari. In lane six, your Great Lakes Intercollegiate Conference champion from Grand Valley, Matthew Bosch. In lane seven, a fourth place finisher from the Sunshine State Conference from Tampa, Santiago Aguilera. And in lane eight, making his first finals appearance from Saginaw Valley, Alejandro Robles Ruiz, Madam Referee. A big congratulations to Alejandro there in lane eight. His swim this morning was his career best that got him in this field. He's going to have some work to do, though, because this is a very fast final. Thomas Flower in lane two, top national qualifier by more than a full second this year. 
Flower won the conference championship in the Sunshine State. He was 12th in this event a year ago, but swam 133.92 to win that conference title. He's the favorite in lane two. Victor Rosado, last year, didn't even make the consolation final. He was the 1,000 runner-up, and he's having a good race so far in three, right in the thick of things as everybody hits the one-quarter mark. Flower in first. Aguilera in seven, uh, lane seven. He's in second place. Thomas Flower leading the way. Marcel Snitko won the conference championship for Wingate. He shaved off a bunch of time in this event this season. Good workouts for him have gotten him into a great spot. Flower continues his pace setting. Ali Reza Yavari now in second place in lane five. The junior from McKendry, an All-American here a year ago. Yavari was on McKendry's. He, sw uh, he swam the anchor leg of McKendry's 800 freestyle relay national championship winning team on Tuesday night. Everybody chasing down Thomas Flower at the moment. He still leads the way, 24-38 the last split. Yavari in second, 24-56. Rosado, three one hundredth slower. He's in third in lane three. Then it's Snitko followed by Aguilera. Flower hits the break wall first as the timers get out of their chairs. Thomas Flower, a full body length lead. Nova Southeastern's had a boatload of success on the ladies' side. Can they win a men's gold medal? Flower's got to hang on. Here comes Matthew Bosch. No, Flower wins it. Flower out touches Matthew Bosch, the Laker, by just two tenths of a second. Incredible closing stretch from Matthew Bosch. Far and away the fastest in the field that last stretch. It was not enough, though, to run down the national leader, Thomas Flower, who is your 2023 champion. Grand Valley State with a great swim there down the stretch. Yavari comes in third, his best finish in the men's 200 freestyle. So Nova Southeastern, who has six national titles on the ladies' side through nine events, has won its first in men's swimming here in 2023. Thomas Flower, a national winning. All right, back down to our podium presentation. Our commentary will step aside here for a few minutes. We've got four podium presentations and those divers to announce to you. So we'll be back here shortly with the start of the men's three-meter diving competition here on NCAA.com. Boday in 13th place with a time of 424.02 from McKendry, Sarah Gormley. In 12th place with a time of 423.26 from Oklahoma Christian, Cheyenne Dennison. In 11th place with a time of 423.06 from Drury, Maria Fay Munoz. In 10th place with a time of 422.47 from Wingate, Francesca Muehlberger. In 9th place with a time of 422.46 from Indy, Carolina Dubchikova. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome our top eight finishers in the women's 400-yard individual medley. In seventh place with a time of 421.95 from Grand Valley, Katie O'Connell. In sixth place with a time of 420.83 from Colorado Mesa, Sophia Baines. In fifth place with a time of 420.64 from Indy, Andrea Gomez Espinosa. In fourth place with a time of 419.48 from Colorado Mesa, Lily Borgenheimer. In third place with a time of 417.07 from Nova Southeastern, Savannah Bess. In your national runner-up with a time of 415.43 from Drury, Aurora Duncan. And your 2023 national champion in the women's 400-yard individual medley, 
with a time of 4.13.80 from Nova Southeastern, my Lovey! We need Andrew Rodriguez of Drury and Joao Norega of Drury and Cedric Busing of Indy to the awards ready area now. All right, let's head down down to Dan Johnson and meet our national champion in the women's 400 yard individual medley. My, what a great race. Started off first after the first 50 on the fly, finished first. Last year was third. What do you think the difference was between this year and last year? Um, I think for me and the band, dear friend, that I realized my weakness. Last year was the breaststroke. And I want to say a lot of thank you to our new coach, Val, that helped me with the breaststroke this year. It wouldn't happen without you. Um, thank you so much. Oh, that's awesome. I thought it was just a beautiful race. Every wall you hit right in stride, no waiting, no crunching it up. Just a great race, mentally tough all the way through. Coming down to that last 25 on the freestyle, it looked like you were getting challenged, but you kicked in your kick. Yeah, it hurt a lot, this race, honestly, because I knew I'm going to need to push all the way. Um, and my strategy is to breathe every four in the last 100, which I didn't manage to do, but I did it in the last 50. Um, and about the walls, it's about, like, practice good, and I was ready for that. I knew my strokes, so... Great job, great race. 800 free relay champion, 400 IM, what's next? Uh, I have the two fly tomorrow. I'm gonna try to make PB and go fast. And, yeah. Congratulations, great racing. Ladies and gentlemen, your top 16 finishers in our men's 400 yard individual medley. In 16th place with a time of 3.57.18 from Lewis, Kirill Sedorko. In 15th place with a time of 3.55.85 from Northern Michigan, Ericus, Ericus Kopotius. In 14th place with a time of 3.54.21 from Missouri s and Connor Bichel. In 13th place with a time of 3.54 even from Wingate, Miguel Marcos. In 12th place with a time of 3.53.68 from Colorado Mesa, Kyle Benjamin. In the 11th place with a time of 3.52.76 from Lenore Rhine, Micah McRae. In 10th place with a time of 3.52.39 from Lewis, Mariano Sosa. And in 9th place with a time of 3.50.89 from Finley, Juan Daniel Garcia Ruiz. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome your top eight finishers in the men's 400 yard individual medley. In eighth place with a time of 353.09 from Drury, Andrew Rodriguez. In seventh place with a time of 351.61 from Grand Valley, Keegan Hawkins. In sixth place from with a time of 348.64 from Nova Southeastern, Jared Baxter. In fifth place with a time of 348.46 from Tampa, Hayden Curley. In fourth place with a time of 347.66 from Drury, Joao Noyega. In third place with a time of 345.98 from Colorado Mesa, Benjamin Sampson. Your 2023 national runner-up with a time of 345.41 from Indy, Cedric Boosting. And your 2023 national champion, in the men's 400-yard individual medley for the championship time of 3.45.30 from Tampa, Santiago Corridor.
All right, let's send it on down to the deck and let's meet our 2023 national champion in the men's 400 yard individual medley with Dan Johnson. Santi, I guess no one told you that you're not supposed to win from lane one. I like to do things a little differently, if you haven't noticed. <laughs> yeah, definitely. That last 100 free, 49.8 coming back on a 400 IM. Coming off the breaststroke, you're in third coming there. Talk about that last 100 free. I just try to turn my brain off, get home, get my hand on the wall. And, and apparently it turned off well. Yeah, it works. I like doing that often. <laughs> yeah, I mean, c come on. Let's talk a little bit more depth about it because you came off those walls on that freestyle and 49.8, is, did you expect that? Yes. <laughs> My breaststroke's, my breaststroke's not my strongest, so I know if, as long as I stay in the race, um, if you're next to me on the freestyle, it's kind of game over. <laughs> you're going to take him down, right? Nice job. What else do you have to this week? Five free. A couple of races. More fun racing, you know, same old, same old. Are, are you going to try to do it from lane one again? I'll try to not be as risky, but yeah, I'm going to try to do it again. <laughs> okay, congratulations. Great race, Santi. Thank you. All right, we need the top eight finalists medalist in our men's and women's 200 yard freestyle to the awards ready area now and let's turn it over to jeff noble to meet tonight's men's three meter diving finalists thank you scott we, ladies and gentlemen if you'll turn your attention to the three meter the diving well we'll introduce our finalists for the men's three meter diving Here are your finalists for the men's three meter competition. Our first diver this evening is a freshman from Colorado Mesa. He qualified with a score of 436.80. Please welcome Dawson Wilson. <laughs> Diving second this evening is a sophomore from Clarion. He qualified with a score of 471.75. Say hello to Jack Biatti. Diving third in the order this evening. Qualified this afternoon with a score of 486.20. A senior from the University of Indianapolis, Cade Hammond. Our fourth, di excuse, our diving fourth this evening. Qualified with a score of 489.55. Senior from University of Indianapolis, Jason Lenzo. Diving fifth in the order is a sophomore from the University of Indianapolis with a qualifying score of 508.25. Please welcome Julio Osuna Kelly. Our next qualifier is a sophomore from Clarion University. He scored 521.25. Please welcome Zach Shering. Qualifying with a score of 527.40, a senior from Drury. Please welcome Cole Earl. And your top qualifier with a score of 555.35, a junior from Colorado Mesa, Isaiah Cheeks. Now it's time to hand out our awards for event 16, the women's 200 yard freestyle. In 16th place from Colorado Mesa, Lauren White. In 15th place from McKendry, Jocelyn Zagola. In 14th place from Wingate, Caitlin Egger. 
In 13th place from Westchester, Michaela Nines. In 12th place from Azusa Pacific, Montana White. In 11th place from Lynn, Laura DeConnick. In 10th place from Lynn, Helga Fodder. And in 9th place from Colorado Mesa, Katrina Matsuskova. Let's welcome our top eight finishers in the women's 200-yard freestyle. In eighth place, from Carson Newman, M Manon Coppinger. In, in seventh place, with a time of 149.50, from Drury, Ellie Walker. In sixth place, with a time of 149.32, from Indiana University, Pennsylvania, Paige Mikesell. In fifth place, with a time of 148.80, from Drury, Josephine Bouchel. In fourth place with a time of 148.70 from Henderson State, Kiara Posby. In third place with a time of 147.88 from Nova Southeastern, Emily Trishman. Your 2023 national runner-up with a time of 147.51 from Indy, Micah Heider. And your 2023 national champion, and the women's 200-yard freestyle with a championship time of 147.11 from Nova Southeastern, Amelia Runningdahl. We need Roger Marisala and Alireza Yavari to the awards ready area now. And let's send it on down to Dan Johnson to meet our national champion in the women's 200 yard freestyle. Amelia, 800 free relay champion, 200 IM champion, 200 free champion. Tell us about the 200 free tonight coming in here seated fourth and winning. It was amazing. I did not expect that, so it was really fun. Great. I mean, coming out of there, it looked like you had, at the 100 mark, you were about third, and you got put the last 100 down. Last 25 get a little tiring? Of course, always. Yeah, you held on really well. It looked like you went to your legs coming off the walls really strong. Yeah, I, I always get tired in legs, especially the last 25. So, But it was just goal, the last 25, of course. Well, congratulations. What a great week so far you've had. What else do we have? We have some breaststroke and some relays left. All right, congratulations. Have a great time, and keep cheering for everybody. Thank you so much. All right, let's meet our top 16 finishers in event 17, the men's 200-yard freestyle. In 16th place from Tampa, Parker Nolman. In 15th place from Missouri S&T, Connor Wiedermeyer. In 14th place from St. Cloud State, Rolf Hendricks. In 13th place from Tampa, Barnabas Fluck. In 12th place from Wingate, Gabriel Costa. In 11th place from Oklahoma Christian, Brandon Hurida. In 10th place from Colorado Mesa, Matthias LaPerrier. And in 9th place, for the time of 136.81, from Indy, Serge Agashawan. Let's welcome our top eight finishers in the men's 200-yard freestyle. In eighth place, with a time of 136.87, from Saginaw Valley, Alejandro Robles Ruiz. In seventh place, with a time of 136.50, from Grand Valley, Raju Mirat Sala. In sixth place, with a time of 136.17, from Tampa, 
Santiago Aguilera. In fifth place with a time of 136.04 from Wingate, Marcel Snitko. In fourth place with a time of 135.43 from Oklahoma Christian, Victor Rosado. In third place with a time of 135.14 from McKindry, Ali Reza Yuvari. And your 2023 national runner up with a time of 134.87. From Grand Valley, Matthew Bosch. And your 2023 national champion in the men's 200 yard freestyle with a time of 134.71 from Nova Southeastern, Thomas Flower. We do need the relay cards for the women's 400 medley relay from Colorado School of Mines. All right, let's send it on down to our deck and let's meet our 2023 national champion in the men's 200 yard freestyle with Dan Johnson. Thomas, I think there's only one word that describes that race, guts. I mean, not many guys will take it out in 45-0 and bring it home. Was that your strategy? You said, come get me, and I'm going to get my hand on that wall? Yeah, the, the other guys were going out kind of, kind of the same time, but uh, they came back faster than I did, so I needed to take it to them early. What was the difference between this year, you think, and last year on the 200 free for you? Um, well, the competition's got faster. Um, so I just need to take it out like 100 and hold on and hope for the best, honestly. It, it looked great. I mean, I love the 200 free because it's not a sprint, but it's not distance. It's, you just get, you get your hand on those walls and get off of them. I think you did a great job. You showed incredible guts and tr uh, just wanted it. I think you just wanted it more than anybody. Yeah, thank you. I, I tried. I trained hard. And um, honestly, the way I've been training, it's gone well and it's gone went, went to plan. Well, congratulations. Nice job being the champion. Thank you. All right, let's send it over to the diving well for Jeff Noble and our men's three-meter diving. Thank you, Kevin. Or, excuse me, thank you, Scott. Last divers on the board. All right, hope you enjoyed the podium presentations there for all four of those events, men's and women's 400 IM and the 200-yard freestyle. And we're just about to begin our three-meter diving competition. And so the uh, eight young men that got out of prelims this morning and already began their uh, diving finals will carry forward some scores. We're ready for those eight guys to make a run in a national championship where Isaiah Cheeks from Colorado Mesa, who will dive last, is your defending champion. This is his teammate Dawson Wilson, a freshman from Mesa, getting us started 105B 2.4. He's starting on 177 and change. Judges give him 39.6. So Dawson at 216.85. This is Jack Beatty, 5235D, 2.8. Jack from Clarion. Nicely done. His award is 50.4. Kate Hammond, fourth place in this event a year ago. One of three consecutive Greyhounds to dive here. Cade with 405C, 2.7. Inward, two and a half somersault tuck. Excellent. Cade will be well awarded for that. 52.65. Here's Jason Lenzo, also from Indianapolis. Sixth place in each of the last two national meets. 405B 3.0.
Well done. High DD will certainly help there. Scores are pretty good. 52.5 his total award. Moves him up to the top of the chart for a moment. Julio Osuna Kelly from Indianapolis. Last year's national runner-up. A reverse two and a half somersault. 1.5 twist. 3.3. Oh, good grief. How good is that? Julio, 64-35. So the gauntlet's been thrown down for Zach Shearing from Clarion. This is 52-35-D, 2.8. Can't execute it much cleaner than that. Zach gets an excellent score. 63 points. He leads by one-tenth of a point at the moment over Julio. Cole Earl, senior from Drury. Given name is Charles, but prefers to go by Cole, I understand. Earl with a beautiful two and a half somersault pike. Crowd loves it. And they should. 66. Excellent. Boy, all three, Julio, Zach, and Cole, have been great so far. And now we'll see what Isaiah's got in mind. Defending national champ from Colorado Mesa, 205B 3.0. Just a little under-rotated. Otherwise, an excellent dive. Cheek sits at 241 points. So Julio, Zach, and Cole are separated by exceptionally little. The three of them are nine-tenths of a point apart. Round one is complete. We go back to Dawson, 107C, 2.8. Not bad, but a big kick there. Ends up to 253. Jack forward two and a half somersault pike, 2.4. Oh my goodness. That's got to be the highest individual scores you see, right? That's about as good as it gets. Judge 7 in particular liked it. Wasn't all that difficult of a dive, but Jack executed it flawlessly. Kate Hammond, 205C, 2.8. Very nice. Judges give him 56. Jason, backward, two and a half somersault pike, 3.0. Anytime you get two and a half somersaults in pike, it starts to get really tough. Oh, the fans love it. They should. So does Jason. How about that? 70.5. You betcha! Julio, 405B 3.0. Kept it really tight to the board. Form was clean. Julio with a big score. Yeah. 
Zach Shearing. 205B 3.0. Can he do it as well as Jason just did? Well, it's pretty good. I don't know if it's just as good as Jason's, but it's close. 58.5. This is Cole Earl, 107B, 3.1. An excellent dive from Cole Earl. Sixty two. Julio, Zach, and Cole are neck and neck with Jason nipping at their heels. Last dive in round two is Isaiah Cheeks. He's sitting on 241.6. Oh, man. Really, really good. 63 points. And suddenly Isaiah is right back in the mix. In order, after two rounds, it's Julio, Cole, Zach, Jason, Isaiah, Cade, Jack, and Dawson. Dawson here, 205C, 2.8. Starts round three with a good dive, 42 points. Best dive we've seen so far was Jason's second round dive, 70.5. Very well executed. Three twenty nine forty five. the new award for Jack Beatty. Kate will go with 305C, 2.8. He really got out far away from the board, but otherwise the form was quite nice. He gets 50.4. The judges appreciate it. Jason 107C 2.8. Big deep breath. You want to talk about being in the zone. Jason Lenzo. Back to back killer dives. Julio, 307C, 3.5. This is really tough. Got to get really high. Nicely done. A high DD will help with a good score. 52.5. Fairly low awards, but such a tough dive helps him for sure. Zach, 305C, 2.8. They're a little over-rotated. Otherwise good. 36.4. I'll be a little upset with that. Okay, two more dives in round three, and then we'll hit the halfway point. Cole, 305B, 3.0. Had a great dive last time, scoring more than 60 points. Just didn't quite finish it. Pretty good. 31.5. That's going to hurt a little bit.
Last dive in round three for Isaiah. 5-1-5-2-B, 3.0. Excellent. Your defending national champion hits a beauty. And with 364 points, he is in third place. All right, through three rounds, halfway home. Julio leads Jason by 1.75. Isaiah in third, then Zachary, Cole, Cade, Jack, and Dawson. Dawson, round four, gets 40.6. Jack 305C 2.8. Great height. Timing of the rotation was just a smidge off. 30.8. Cade 107B 3.1. Indianapolis right now has the top two divers. Oh, Hammond with a gorgeous dive. Fifty-one point one five. Frankly, that was probably Cade's best so far. Jason Lenzo, three hundred five B, three point zero. Not sure if there's been somebody more game ready tonight than Jason Lenzo. This kid is locked and loaded, 64.5. Julio, 51-54, B, 3.4. Oh, how good is that? Two and a half somersaults and two twists, 61.2. And we have a change at the top. Jason is now out front of Julio by 1.55. Big dive for Zach here. Oh, he nails it and rips it nicely. It's 55.1. Cole Earl, 405B, 3.0. Nobody trying to get behind the senior from Drury. Third place at Nationals last year. Very nicely done. Sixty points. Judges loved it. So Earl right now in front of Zachary. Last dive in round four. 52-33 D 2.4. Lower DD here, so Isaiah really has to hit the form perfectly. And he does. It's as good as you can do. National champion diver a year ago, 54 points. Okay. So through four rounds, it's Jason, Julio, Isaiah, Cole, Zachary, Cade, Jack, and Dawson. Two Greyhounds and a Maverick at the top. Round five now. Again, Jason and Julio flip-flopped spots in that fourth round. Dawson with 405 seat, and he gets 41.85. Jack, 205 seat, 2.8. Reminder, we'll have the 400-yard medley relay 
Both the ladies and the men coming up here after diving concludes. Well done. Nice round of applause for Jack as he scores 50.4. Cade, 51-52-B, 3.0. Excellent. <laughs> 63 points. All right, Jason has been absolutely locked in. 53-35-D, 2.9. He's had a 70.5 and a 64.5. Two of his first four. He's going to get another pretty good score there. Fifty point seven five. That opens the door a little bit for Julio diving now. 205B, 3.0. Jason was down a point after three, up a point and change after four. Julio can take the lead back here with a good dive. Really, really good from Julio Osuna Kelly. 67.5. Zach trying to keep pace. Very well done. 55.35. Cole, 53.35D, 2.9. Oh, that's probably his best of the night. Supreme body control, tight twisting and turning, 63.8. Isaiah Cheeks. I uh, got yeah, really vertical at the end. The judges should appreciate that. They give him 51.8. All right. And so as we start our sixth and final round, it's Julio Osuna Kelly with a fairly sizable lead again over Jason Lenzo. Jason's fifth round dive was okay. Julio's was excellent. 501.6 for Julio. 486.4 for Jason, then it's Cole, then your defending champion, Isaiah. Outside of those four, it would be tough for the other four guys to win this overall national title. Dawson, an All-American, he'll score 428.1. By the way, the all-time Division Three championship record, 624.8. That won't be broken tonight. Colorado Mesa. Amar Hassan back on St. Patrick's Day in 2018 broke the all-time D2 record. Final dive for Jack. He closes strong on 405C. 463.3, his total award. Six dives to go. Kate Hammond. 52-35D, 2.8. Very nice. Cade closes with a good effort. 499.8, his total award. That's a great mark for him. He had a 
really solid championship this evening. Okay, Jason Lenzo, he's had two of the best dives all night. He's going to need something spectacular here. 52-35-D, 2.8. Well, he gave it his best. Jason Lenzo from Indianapolis. 61.6. 548 even is the new high water mark. Julio, who's diving here, this is ridiculous. 109C 3.8. He only needs about 47 points to overtake first place again. Goodness gracious, Julio Osuna Kelly might have just won the national championship. 77.9. Three dives remaining. Virtually impossible to catch him. Zach 105B 2.4. Zach 107C 2.8. Three dives left. Zach waiting here. He needs over 110 points in order to catch Julio. But possible that Zach could find his way toward the top of the podium with a really good mark here. We'd love to be able to finish top three. All eight of these guys are already All-Americans. Such incredible pride in the Clarion diving program. They got a national championship on the ladies one meter yesterday from Luna Castellanos. And today, Zach Shearing, 60.2 in that final. 521.55, his total awards. Two dives left. Cole Earl, 51-54B, 3.4. He needs 107 points to take over first place. Won't get 107 with that, but it is a very good effort. How high on the board will Cole end up? It moves him in front of Kate Hammond. Earl goes up to 520 as his total score. Our final dive on men's three meter, 405C 2.7 from Isaiah. Last year's national champion two years ago, he finished in fourth place. He won't win this year's title. But he ends with a beauty. Isaiah Cheeks, probably his best dive of the night. 56.7. And he closes with 527.1. Some happy greyhounds over on the deck. The top two divers in the country in men's three meter. From the University of Indianapolis, Julio Osuna Kelly and Jason Lenzo your national champion and national runner-up. Osuna Kelly, last year's national runner-up, and he puts forth an amazing effort here tonight. 579.5, his total score, including a ridiculous nearly 78 points awarded on his 109C 3.9 final dive. Just amazing. So Julio Osuna Kelly, your national champion in the men's three meter diving competition. Okay, 
Congratulations to the Greyhounds. We'll let you know as soon as things refresh on the team score after diving is included, but that should certainly help Indianapolis increase its lead a little bit because UIndy went into diving about 17 points ahead of McKendry, and taking those top two spots is certainly going to help. So we'll give you updated team scores along the way. We're getting ready for the first of three timed finals in the women's 400-yard medley relay. Florida Southern, Wayne State, and McKendry will all swim in this first heat. And again, it is a timed final, so you could win the national championship out of this heat if you put up a time fast enough. And the ladies get in the pool. Swimming in lane three for Florida Southern is Elizabeth Sykes. She's a freshman alongside Wayne State freshman Ellie Belmore in lane four. And Abigail Rump, a senior for McKendry, is swimming here the backstroke in lane five. Defending national champion in the women's 400 medley relay is Nova Southeastern, the team of Selena Marquez, Savannah Best, Alexandra Maslova, and Cassie Wright. Best and Maslova will swim with Molly Morfelt and Amelia Ronningdahl. A couple of freshmen for the Sharks who are swimming the opening and anchor legs in Heat 3. They are the top seed nationally in the 400 medley relay. Let's see if Nova Southeastern can repeat as champs this year. Two years ago, Queens won the national title in this event as the second leg goes into the pool with Wayne State out front. Emily Peck swimming for Florida Southern. Lane four for Wayne State, it's Haston Horling. And sophomore Sarah Gormley for McKendry in lane five. Gormley's already competed tonight when she swam in the 400 IM consolation final. Gormley putting together a nice effort there in five. All three of these teams did not have a seed time that qualified them for the national meet, but they had enough swimmers to compete in this event so you go out give it your best shot maybe you can steal a few team points by the way the men's side we will have a new champ because queens won this event last year hopefully by now you're familiar enough that queens is no longer swimming at division two so the seven time defending team champs for both the men and women will be uh knocked off their throne here in a couple days time Time for the third leg. Ali Brinton of Florida Southern just went into the pool in lane three. Barbara Munoz Quintero in lane four. And Carly Sonnenberg for McKendry in lane five. Butterfly looks good for Munoz Quintero at the moment. A chase from Sonnenberg. She's tightening that just a little bit. Sonnenberg fell behind a smidge. Munoz Quintero with good work on that last turn. We're into the final stretch here. Aaron McCann coming in in lane three, fifth year senior for Florida Southern. Wayne State in lane four is Allison Vasilakos. And for McKendry in lane five, it's a freshman, Gabriela Novias Lima, who was swimming individually yesterday. Good experience for her here. Vasilakos still leading the way for Wayne State. 24 27, that last split. 23 55 for McKendry. So the Bearcats are closing a bit. 24 85 for Florida Southern. 
Wayne State trying to throw up the time to beat here in the first of these three time finals. And it looks like they will cruise their way to doing so with a final time of 347.52. Well, the public address announcer just said that Heat 1 is under review. So perhaps Wayne State won't have the fastest time, but we'll find out. As it currently stands, though, that's what we're looking at. Hope you'll join us again, by the way, tomorrow evening as we continue our championship coverage. Be a fun day tomorrow. The 500 freestyle, 100 back. 100 breaststroke, 200-yard butterfly, and the 200-yard freestyle relay in addition to the women's three-meter diving finals. It's all set for tomorrow. As we have all week long, we'll have prelim coverage streaming live for you in the morning here on NCAA.com. Prelims will get started at 10 a.m. Eastern time, and then finals at 6 o'clock. Diving will begin tomorrow at 1 p.m. for the women on the three-meter. While they continue to review Heat 1, here is Heat 2. In lane one, Indiana University, Pennsylvania. Lane two, Grand Valley. Lane three, West Florida. Lane four, Colorado School of Mines. Lane five, Henderson State. Lane six, Wingate. Lane seven, Delta State. And in lane eight, Northern Michigan. Madam Referee. IUP Grand Valley, West Florida, Colorado School of Mines, Henderson State, Wingate, Delta State, and Northern Michigan. It's likely that whoever wins this heat might find themselves in the top eight. Usually the fastest of the second heat is good enough, sometimes the second fastest, good enough for All-American finishes. So certainly something at stake here. Young ladies in the pool include Jordan Krupe in lane one, Angelica Angeletta in lane two, Nina Imboden in lane three, Mines with Kerrigan Hemp in lane four, Kiara Pazvai in lane five, Marta Biesmans in lane six, Jordan Cloth in lane seven, and Camilla Cabron in lane eight. Good swimming at the moment from Henderson State. Kiara Pazvai has been in the pool an awful lot here at the beginning of this national championship. He's done well in the IM events. Carbone in lane eight also keeping things interesting. Backstroke down, here we go. Leg number two, Rachel Johnson, the fifth year senior in lane one. Delaney Weibrink in lane two, the senior for Grand Valley. Brooke Samilla for West Florida in three. It's Jordan Tierney, the freshman in lane four for Colorado School of Mines. Henderson State with Jessica Bongfelt in lane five. Amanda Wenhold in lane six of Wingate. Daniela Solkow in Delta State lane seven. And Zoe DeKivit in lane eight for Northern Michigan. Henderson State, Wingate, and NMU all swimming well during the breaststroke. Not a huge surprise. Bongfelt, Wenholt, and Dekevit are terrific breaststrokers. IUP trying to stay as close as they can there in lane one because Paige Mikesell is dynamite waiting to get in the pool. I expect IUP to make a charge in just a moment. Can Rachel Johnson catch up? She is closing a little bit of ground there in lane one. Right now she's in either fourth or fifth with Colorado School of Mines hanging tough. Okay, Paige Mikesell, Alyssa Wager, Stephanie Marquardt, Ann Osman, Isabel Andrews, Kelsey Monroe, Michaela Cloth, and 
Mertixel Font Contenero. All swimming here, the butterfly. Mikesel in lane one, turning on the Jets. Page swimming great, quite well. Marquardt in lane three, trying to close a little gap for West Florida. It's Wingate, then Henderson State, then NMU, followed by IUP. Things are changing, though, a little bit. Northern Michigan making a move, and so is IUP. Crimson Hawks in lane one, looking solid. Can Amber Baldani in lane one help them with a freestyle? IUP is going to be no worse than second as they hit the wall here. Into the freestyle, Baldani in lane one, Lucy Headley in lane two. IUP, by the way, in second behind Northern Michigan. Morgan Despress in lane three, Jory Selig in four, Mackenzie Kester in five, Lucinda Andrews in six, Tristan Fant and Michaela Nelson in seven and eight. Look at Northern Michigan. Their best time this year was 345-56. Northern Michigan swimming a terrific 400-yard medley relay. NMU had the 15th fastest time in the country coming in, but this group has really impressed, and right now NMU looks like the team to beat. IUP hanging in there, so is Henderson State, but Northern Michigan wins Heat 2 with a 343-06. A great mark for the Great Lakes Intercollegiate Athletic Conference young ladies. Heat two is under review. Henderson State comes in second, IUP in third. The judges will continue to look at it. At the moment, we think NMU has posted the new top time. In the meantime, it is unlikely that we'll see any of those teams win this national championship race because the schools that are in Heat three have posted some really good marks this year, including Nova Southeastern when they swam 337-53. At the Sunshine State Conference meet, Drury, Indianapolis, Lynn, Carson Newman, Colorado Mesa, Westchester, and Tampa will all be in the pool here. Nova Southeastern. They've already won the 800 freestyle relay and 200 medley relay here this week. Could the Sharks win a third relay national championship? Here come your championship finalists. In lane one, Tampa. Lane two, Colorado Mesa. Lane three, Drury. Lane four, Nova Southeastern. Lane five, Indy. Lane six, Lynn. Lane seven, Carson Newman. And in lane eight, Westchester, Madam Referee. Nova Southeastern, the defending national champions. Drury, the last couple years, has gone fourth and second. Nova went first and third a couple years ago. Indianapolis, third and fourth the last two seasons. Lots of other All-Americans in the pool, but those seem to be the three fastest schools in America. Backstrokers are off. Tampa with Kimberly McCaffrey, Colorado Mesa, Lauren White, Alexandra Waller for Drury, freshman Molly Morfelt for Nova Southeastern, 
Katie McCoy of Indianapolis in lane five. Carolina Smilek for Lynn in six. Kyla Blakemore, Carson Newman in lane seven. And Lila DiCarlo from Westchester in lane eight. Molly Moorfelt and Amelia Ronningdahl, the two freshmen, will swim first and fourth. Savannah Best and Alexandra Maslova were both on last year's national championship team. Good backstrokers almost all the way across the board. Westchester is strongest with Ann Carroza, the all-time D2 record holder in the breaststroke. I'm sorry, I said breaststroke, I meant butterfly. The uh, butterfly coming third with Ann Carroza. We'll see her shortly. Breaststroke is now in the pool. Alexandria McFarland in one. The great Lily Borgenheimer, fifth-year senior for Mesa in two. Claire Conover, a terrific breaststroker, one of the best in America. She's in three. Savannah Best is in lane four for Nova Southeastern. Savannah's had a great meet. Selena Schmidt for UND in five. Claudia Porta in six. Bree Belcher in seven. And Mackenzie Hemingway in lane eight. So far, Nova Southeastern leads the way with UND in second, followed by Carson Newman. And they've got the national champion, Manon Compagner, coming up next. The butterfly could be really fun in lanes six, seven, and eight because Compagner, Luna Mertens, last year's winner, and Ann Carroza, the all time record holder in the 200 fly. They're going to all swim next to each other once again, second time tonight. And here we go with Nova Southeastern leading the way in four, then UIndy in five. Colorado Mesa, Carson Newman, the next two to touch the wall. Madison Barnes, Kiara Borchert, Melly White, Alexandra Maslova, Julia Majorowska, Luna Mertens, Manon Kapagner, and Ann Carosa. All eyes on lane six, seven, and eight here. How much ground can they make up with these terrific butterfly specialists trying to chase down Maslova and Majorowska in four and five? Maslova and Nova Southeastern have a good lead at the moment. More than eight-tenths of a second faster on that last split. But her lead is dwindling a little bit. Look at the ground that Compagner is making up in seven. The question is, can Kennedy King keep it going for the Eagles? Because one of the fastest young ladies in America is jumping in the pool there. Amelia Ronningdahl first in for the freestyle in four. Lane five, U Indies in second place. They've got Joanna Byes, who's a national champion. Tilda Morin, Logan Anderson, Ellie Waller, uh, Walker, Helga Fedor, Kennedy King, and Michaela Nines all in the pool, too. It's Nova Southeastern, Indy, and Carson Newman right now, the top three schools. Nova Southeastern has the fastest time in the country, 337.53. Carson Newman's best this year is 342.52. They're in great shape at the moment. Kennedy King is swimming great. Can the Eagles track something down here? Uindy is losing a little bit of steam, but they're running out of time. Nova Southeastern continues to be perfect in relays. They win another national championship. 338-34, the Sharks gold again. There are your times. We just heard that Heat 3 is also under review. So the celebration for Nova Southeastern at the moment has been muted a touch. It appears that UND would come in second. Carson Newman in third, but we'll wait and see as the Sharks with big smiles think they've done it again. Moorfelt led off the 200 medley relay yesterday, followed by Best, Maslova, and yesterday it was Treichman that swam the anchor leg, today Ronningdahl. All right, before we go to the men's championship, we're going to go over to our podium here, and we'll uh, present the award to the University of Indianapolis, sophomore Julio Osuna Kelly.
He won the national title in men's three meter diving. So let's head downstairs. Here are your top eight finalists for the men's three meter diving. In eighth place, representing Colorado Mesa, Dawson Wilson. Finishing seventh, representing Clarion University, Jack Beatty. Your sixth place finisher from the University of Indianapolis, Cade Hammond. Your fifth place finisher this evening, from Drury University, Cole Earl. Finishing fourth, from Clarion University, Zach Schering. Your third place finisher, representing Colorado Mesa, Isaiah Cheeks. In second place, from University of Indianapolis, Jason Lenzo. And your 2023 three meter diving champion from the University of Indianapolis, Julio Osuna Kelly. Let's send it down to the pool deck with Dan. Take it over. Julio, congratulations on winning the three meter championship. But let's talk a little bit about your DD and is it fair? I mean, I have been diving for a long time and I've been doing those dives for like two years, so like, it's like, it's not new for me, so it's kind of easy, but at the same time it's not. Uh, I think watching that after round five, when you, you did your 205, you're back two and a half, and you nailed that, it really started separating you from the field, and then the icing on the cake was the 109. Oh man, that 109 was terrifying. I landed on the side of the board, it was like, just, I was thinking like, just don't land short. And that's what I did. I didn't land sure. I nailed it. And that's what got me this first place. Well, yeah, you were up in that upper right-hand corner of that board. You hung there for a long time. And you came down, pressed all the way through. And you, 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 man, did you rotate on that thing. Oh, man, I know. I was like, I was on the side on the corner. And I was like, I'm so scared. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know how he's going to land. I just, like, start flipping. And when I landed, it was like, thank God. <laughs> People don't understand. I mean, it's a split second up there, and you're thinking all those things are like going crazy. So, Julio, what else are you going to dive this week? Um, I just got one meter left, and that's easier, I guess. But I don't know. We'll see how it goes. You're going to throw a 107 on one? Yeah, I will. All right, congratulations. Great job. It was a lot of fun to watch you. So congratulations to Julio Osuna Kelly from the University of Indianapolis on that incredible performance. 109C was something uh, you just don't see very often. <laughs> he scored nearly 78 points. The hardest dive of the meet. He nailed it, and that basically locked up his title. Okay. Have something to share with you here.
and that is that the uh, women's 400-yard medley relay is still under review for all three heats. I thought we were going to get something a bit more from public address there. I beg your pardon. So we sure think that Nova Southeastern won the national championship, but until we find out for sure, the celebration was a bit more muted. In the meantime, we are getting ready to start the men's 400-yard medley relay. We'll have three timed finals. A few more schools competing because we've got five schools swimming in the first heat instead of three. So those introductions will come up here in, uh, in just a moment. Well, they just made the announcement inside the arena that everybody was waiting for. Heats two and three are now official on the ladies' side. Wayne State and McKendry had both been disqualified for early takeoff in heat one. But that means Nova Southeastern is officially your 2023 national champion in the 400 medley relay. Okay, back downstairs momentarily here for the introductions. For heat one. Northern Michigan. Lane four, Lewis. Lane five, Carson Newman. And lane six, Wayne State. Madam referee. All right, backstrokers go in. Let's see if we can get a special swim out of Heat 1. What do you think? Delta State, Northern Michigan, Lewis, Carson Newman, and Wayne State. Manuel Fava has a ton of experience at the national championships. He's in lane 2. Rikas Kapochis in lane 3. Jared Jacinto in 4. Arthur Gluzman in 5. And Clayton Kennard for Wayne State in lane six. The Division II National Championship record was set at the championship meet by Queens back in 2017. Three minutes, 7.38 seconds. Top mark in the country this year belongs to Drury at the SMU Invitational down in Dallas. Three minutes, 9.19 seconds. Backstroke is done. Lewis leads the way in Heat 1, 24-91, the last split there. Nicely done by Jacinto. Carson Trailer, Roberto Camera, Jabari Ramsey, Asker Hartwig, and Hans Anderson. Things look solid for Lewis at the moment. Well, I'm not entirely sure what happened, but nobody went into the pool for Delta State. Perhaps I missed something there earlier. If I did, I apologize. There are only four schools competing right now. So it's NMU at the top of your screen there in lane three. Ryan Lund, Ari Kissel, Wander Sousa, and Michael Wolsick, your butterfly guys. Well done so far from Lewis. Frankly, things are tightening up all across the way. Lewis, Wayne State, Carson Newman, NMU in that order. Wolsick closing ground quickly for Wayne State in six. Kissel had a lead, but that lead is gone. Wayne State. They're in first place as we hit the freestyle. Lucas Svetko, Hobson Stelling, Dominic May, and Leo Knowles from bottom to top of your screen. 
the best times that each of these schools have posted this year are all within two tenths of a second of each other. Obviously, you go out and race as fast as you can, but when they're all at their best, there's very little separating them. Wayne State having a great swim. Northern Michigan's faded back a bit. Carson Newman right now in second place. Wayne State, well done. Wayne State posts a 3-12-59. How about that for a good mark? We'll talk about being fired up for a national championship meet. That is official. Wayne State just put up its best time of the season by 3.3 seconds. Wow. Great job. So Heat 1 is locked in. That means Wayne State with the top mark. These guys are justifiably pretty happy. I <laughs> oh, love it. All right, let's meet our eight schools that are going to swim here in Heat 2. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Heat 2 of our men's 400-yard medley relay. In lane one, Emmanuel. Lane two, Missouri s &T. Lane three, Florida Southern. Lane four, Colorado Mesa. Lane five, St. Cloud State. Lane six, Grand Valley. Lane seven, Tampa. And rounding out our field in lane eight, Florida Tech, Madam Referee. Mesa and St. Cloud State. Lanes four and five, the top two marks. You are seated in these heats, these timed finals based on your best mark during the season. Those were ninth and tenth best in the country from Mesa and St. Cloud State. Michaelo Seminoff for Emmanuel in one. Then it's Noah Clancy of Missouri S&T in two. Florida Southern in lane three, Brandon Wilson. The great Ben Sampson, national champion for Colorado Mesa in four. Raf Hendricks for St. Cloud State in five. Roger Moret Sala in six for Grand Valley. Parker Nolman of Tampa in lane seven. And a great start so far in lane eight for Florida Tech senior Daniel Eisenberg. He's in first place out in front of Missouri S&T and then Colorado Mesa. Florida Tech, little outside smoke so far. Sampson with a strong kick in four has brought this back to a tighter one-two punch between them and Florida Tech. All right, breaststrokers into the pool from top to bottom. Luigi De Salva, Jordan Christensen, Mateo Zampizi, Mahmoud El Guillar, Jaden Porter, Keegan Hawkins, Jared Mindick, and Connor Orth. Colorado Mesa continues to push the tempo here. Halfway through the breaststroke, they lead, then Florida Southern, then St. Cloud State. Missouri S&T, Grand Valley, Florida Tech, Tampa, and Emmanuel in that order. Tampa knows they've got a really good freshman in Tristan Tybor waiting to come in for the butterfly stroke in seven. Can they keep it tight? Mesa and Florida Southern right now in first and second place. 
Anton Akopian, Nathaniel Baxter, Cameron Lyharis, Dayan Urbanic, Emil Dost, Kyle Raske, Tristan Tybor, and John Fanotto. Look at the underwater work from Ly Harris. That was awesome. More than half the length of the pool for Florida Southern. Urbanic trying to keep it tight there in lane four. Florida Southern and Colorado Mesa pulling away right now in the butterfly. They're going to lean heavily on their freestylist to try to keep this thing toward All-American status. If you win the second of these two finals, you often find yourself on the podium somewhere. Here we go. Bartos Meldinich, Connor Weidemeyer, Kyle Mikolaev, Mohamed Elkadi, Mason Beck, Matthew Bosch, Caleb Brandon, and Nathaniel Allen. Colorado Mesa with El Cotti out front, just a smidge in front of McAuliffe. Don't look now, but here comes the freshman Mason back in lane five. McAuliffe, ever so little out front of El Cotti. As fast as you can sprint to the finish line. Florida Southern in lane three is going to put up the fastest time in heat two. 3-11-30. Colorado Mesa comes in second at 3-12-60. To give you an idea of how impressive the swim was from Wayne State, as we find out that Heat 2 is official, Wayne State in Heat 1 would have come in second place, 1-100th in front of Colorado Mesa. So Wayne State is looking up at the board right now, feeling like, hey, maybe we'll find our way onto the podium. It is possible. One more swim left here this evening. When this is over, we'll have both the women's and men's podium presentation for all of our relay teams. And we'll wrap up the broadcast the rest of the uh, Rest of the way, tell you what to look forward to tomorrow night at 6 o'clock Eastern time as we continue our coverage here in Indianapolis. Back down to the pool. Here are the top eight fastest teams during the regular season here in Division II. In lane one, Nova Southeastern. Lane two, Wingate. Lane three, McKendry. Lane four, Drury. Lane five, Finley. Lane six, Indy. Lane seven, Henderson State. And in lane eight, Oklahoma Christian, Madam Referee. Well, the defending national champions in this event are the Queens Royals, so we will have a new champ here in 2023. McKendry was the runner-up each of the last two years. Drury, Finley, and U Indy are also very capable. Four middle lanes, four best in the country this year. Nova Southeastern in lane one with Jared Baxter. Wingate in lane two, Ni Shagasfilo. McKendry's in lane three with Patrick Rosinick. Nathan Baghetti for Drury in lane four. Bruce Keener, the freshman for the Oilers in lane five. Bartolome Swiderski for Indianapolis in lane six. Henderson State with Lamar Taylor, the national champion sprinter in the 50 free. He's in seven. Derek Montgomery in lane eight for Oklahoma Christian. Lamar Taylor, he's as good as it gets. This kid is just a flat out racer. 
who loves to practice. But when it comes down to actually putting your hand on the block, getting in the pool, and just trying to win, there are not many better than the Henderson State Junior Lamar Taylor, and they're in first place. Ali Williamson, Fedor Sokolov, Felipe Pinheiro, Davi Moral, Juan Daniel Garcia Ruiz, Lakeith Salvaraj Prema, Jared Tippett, and JT Amrine. From top to bottom on your screen, here as we go on the breaststroke. The Reddies love what they see right now from lane seven. Anderson State's best time this year was at the New South Conference Championship. They put up a 312 and change. Anderson State losing a little bit of that edge, though, as the rest of the pool catches up. Gosh, look at this seat. The middle six lanes are very tight. Steven Amable, Ballant Kobox, Jackson, uh, Jackson Lustig, Dominic Karacic, Timothy Stallings, Seri Agadzanian, Jace Pinckney, and Chase Fields. We've seen a lot of these guys, not just this year, but throughout their careers, swim great in individual butterfly events. Look at Drury in lane four. Got a Cheech, a national champion in his own right. That was a great split, 20-72. McKendry in second, Finley in third, then UND in fourth. Amable trying to hang tough up there in lane one for Nova. Drury right now leads the way, but McKendry and Finley are closing fast. Look at Timothy Stallings. Oh, the freestyle's going to be great. Thomas Flower from Nova Southeastern won a national title earlier today. He's got to come from way behind. Vyacheslav Onov, Greg Lashinsky, a national champion. Cam Glass, Camilo Marugo Montano, Joao Silva, Jack Armstrong, and Brandon Heredia. Lashinsky, Glass, and Marugo Montano in the middle of the pool. This is awesome. Look at Lashinsky in three. Craig Lashinsky already won the 100 fly earlier today. Now he's swimming freestyle and trying to give McHenry a second national title. Lashinsky feeding on the energy out in front of Glass. McHenry does it again. Drury in second, Finley in third, as Lashinsky just put his team on his back. 22-17 is lightning fast. Three oh eight oh eight. your championship winning time for McKendry. A second relay national championship for the Bearcats after they went runner-up each of the last two years. Greg Lashinsky, I think he's a swimmer of the night. What an incredible closing stretch. So the team of Patrick Rosenek, Felipe Pinheiro, Jackson Lustig, and Greg Lashinsky, your national champions in the 400 medley relay. Let's go down to the podium presentation on the ladies' side where Nova Southeastern will stand atop everybody in else. 13 plays with a time of 3.45.32, Grand Valley. In 12th place with a time of 3.45.30, Wingate. In 11th place with a time of 3.45.04, West Florida. In 10th place with a time of 3.44.64, Indiana University, Pennsylvania. In 9th place with a time of 3.44.36, Henderson State. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome our top eight finishers in the women's 400-yard medley relay.
contests. Your top eight finishers in the women's 400-yard medley relay in eight plays with a time of 344.04, West Chester. In seventh place with a time of 343.82, Lynn. In sixth place with a time of 343.41, Colorado Mesa. In fifth place with a time of 343.14, Drury. In fourth place with a time of 343.06, Northern Michigan. In third place with a time of 341.57, Carson Newman. And your 2023 national runner-up with a time of 340.25, Indy. And your 2023 national champion in the women's 400-yard medley relay with a championship time of 338.34, Molly Malfelt, Savannah Best, Alexandra Maslova, and Amelia Runningdahl, Nova Southeastern. Ladies and gentlemen, let's send it on down to our deck for our national championship interview with our women's 400-yard medley relay, Nova Southeastern. Nova, congratulations on another great victory. Three relays, three victories. Amelia, is this your fourth victory for the week so far? Yes, it is. <laughs> nice job. Molly, let's talk about your backstroke leg. Personal best ever? Yeah, it was. It was amazing. So your job is to get out there and get them breaststrokers some clean water for Savannah can come out and go fast, right? Exactly. <laughs> Savannah, tell us about your race coming off the walls. I thought your walls were outstanding. Thank you. I mean, yeah, I've been working on them a lot because they were kind of iffy. But um, that's also thanks to Val. You know, she really helped me work on my turns. and. Going off of Molly is always just a, a, a blessing, honestly, so, <laughs> yeah. Congratulations. Sasha, your butterfly was beautiful coming off how those legs were really working well. Your turns looked great. Is that a concentration for you? Uh, yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Amelia, what are you going to add for everybody for the coming up here so often? It's been awesome seeing you. You've been doing such a great job this week. You should be very proud and keep up with the good work. Thank you so much. And we have much more to go. There you go. Ladies, congratulations on winning. What a fun job. Men's 400-yard medley relay, heat three, lane one, Nova Southeastern, disqualified for early exchange. And you want to talk about a dominating performance. We've given out 10 national championships on the ladies' side over these first couple of days. And Nova Southeastern's women have won seven of those ten, including all three relays and individual titles for Emily Treishman, two for Amelia Ronningdahl, and uh, who am I missing here? Three relay. Oh, and May Lowy, who won the uh, 400 IM earlier today. As uh, Nova Southeastern, the Sharks out of the Sunshine State Conference, continue to clean up here at the national championships they have a huge lead with two days remaining okay back down to the podium now for the men's presentation for the 
400 medley relay. Cynthia. In 14 plays with a time of 314.51, Oklahoma Christian. In 13 plays with a time of 314.35, Carson Newman. In 12th place with a time of 314.12, St. Cloud State. 11th place with a time of 314.06, Tampa. In 10th place with a time of 313.26, Grand Valley. In ninth place with a time of 312.60, Colorado Mesa. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome your top eight finishers in the men's 400 yard medley relay. In eighth place, with a time of 312.59, Wayne State. In seventh place, with a time of 311.30, Florida Southern. In sixth place, with a time of 311.11, Wingate. In fifth place with a time of 310.97, Henderson State. In fourth place with a time of 310.38, Indy. In third place with a time of 309.43, Finley. In sec, your national runner up with a time of 308.85, Drury. And your 2023 national champions in the men's 400 yard medley relay with a championship time of 308.08, Patrick Rosneck. Felipe Pinero, Jackson Lustig, and Greg Lashinsky, McKendry. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes tonight's championship session. We'll see you back here tomorrow for the NCAA Division II's men's and women's swimming and diving prelim session. For tickets or more information, visit NCAA.com. And let's send it on down to the deck for our national championship interview with our men's national championship 400-yard medley relay, McKendry. Gentlemen, what a great race. That 400 medley was up for grabs the whole way through. Let's take it through this. 
Greg, as a senior, let's have you be the spokesman and talk about what your guys' strategy was going into this 400. I mean, we all know what we need to do individually, and uh, all we had to do was execute, and we did. And nice job. Nice job. Patrick, leading it off as the backstroker, you were coming in there. What was your thoughts going into that first 50? I just knew I have to send it out. I need to go all out. I wanted to do my best for my friends, and I think I did it. You did a great job, Jay. Felipe, on the breaststroke leg, what were your thoughts? Uh, I knew Patty did a great job, and I just had to keep, keep the, uh, the good advantage that we had and just, you know, lend to my... Nice job. ...to Jack and finish flying, drag after him. You guys all were hitting your walls really, really well. J Jackson, what was... Right, yeah. <laughs> what was your thoughts? Uh, I knew we were going to be behind a little bit just because... Finlay has one of the best breaststrokers in our division, but I knew Felipe was going to do his best and Patrick was going to do his best, so I knew it was up to me to keep the momentum going and then have a strong fly leg so that Greg could take over and anchor a finish for us. Greg, 41-1. Have you ever gone close to that fast? It was 41-7. Oh, <laughs> That's all good. Uh, I just dove in and uh, kind of closed my eyes and spun my arms. Didn't really see anybody, just... Went for it. Well, congratulations, guys. What a beautiful relay. Congratulations on winning. Oh, great to see the McKendry Bearcats having fun. That was uh, another great interview. And I tell you what, I think Greg Lashinsky was the swimmer of the night. Really impressive stuff after he won the 100 fly and then anchored the 400 medley relay team to its second relay national championship of the weekend. So tomorrow, just a quick reminder, we've got the 500 freestyle, 100 back, 100 breast, 200 fly, the 200 freestyle relay, and the women's three-meter diving competition all on tap for you tomorrow night starting at 6 o'clock Eastern time. We'll have prelims beginning tomorrow morning, streaming live right here on NCAA.com starting at 10. That'll wrap, up, uh, that'll wrap up tonight's coverage. A great day for the Nova Southeastern ladies and the McKendry men, among others, for a uh, rebroadcast or for recaps of this evening's event. Check out NCAA.com. I'm Brendan Gulick. We'll see you tomorrow for day four of our national championship swimming.